Uh, our next paper is by uh, Professor Ina Sukenko. Um, Ina Sukenko uh, is a visiting researcher of Helsinki Environmental Humanities Hub, the, Depart the Department of Culture, the University of Helsinki. A research interest lies in studying the literary dimensions of nuclear energy within energy literary narrative studies and energy humanities. After defending her PhD in literary studies in Nipro National University in Ukraine, she has been research fellow Erasmus Mundus in Bologna in 2008 and in Turku in 2011 and 2012. Cambridge College, uh, uh, College's uh, hospitality scheme in 2013 and um, opened a social funding uh, library foundation in Warsaw in 2016 and 2000. 17 and visiting fellowship uh, program in uh, Jerry Vascula in 2021 and in Warsaw in 2021. She is among the contributors of the Rotledge and Book of Eco Criticism and Environmental Communication in 2019, uh, edited by S. Slovik and his team. Um, she teaches courses on nuclear narrative studies uh, and Chernobyl. Uh, studies in the University of Helsinki, and she is the member of the Association of Literary Urban Studies in Finland, uh, uh, ELSOS, and the Finnish Society for Development Research in Finland, and also the Nordic Association of American Studies, uh, NAS. So we will move now for the Zoom lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for this kind of introduction as well. Thank you, organizers, for uh, invitation, support, and even encouragement to uh, encouragement to share the outcomes of my research of the my, of my current research. Uh, just years, I am a research fellow of Helsinki Environmental Humanities Hub, hosted by the University of Helsinki, and by visiting the pages of our hub in social media, uh, you can see the activities which we organize, which we organize. And uh, every November we have, uh, we, or just we, are, uh, we conduct Helsinki Environmental Humanities, uh, Environmental Humanities Month, where energy and humanities session is of my responsibility. That's why if you receive any information about uh, just related to uh, just energy and humanities at Helsinki Environmental Humanities Hub, just uh, in autumn, please don't be surprised. I am asking you to mm, feel free to interrupt me if my presentation is frozen. That's why uh, just please do that without any any hesitation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, the Anthropocene calls for new narratives and the literary perspectives so on energy storytelling helps to distinguish such energy-related or uh, fictional writing, uh, writing as Petra fiction, climate fiction, carbon fiction, hydro fiction, uh, anthropocene fiction, nuclear fiction, uh, Chernobyl fiction, Fukushima fiction, as you can see, and it is nuclear fiction, which is the focus of my year, of my uh, research interest. Actually, now uh, actually nowadays I am this one. Uh, actually nowadays I am as my research project deals with the investigating the narrative tools of emoting nuclear energy in nuclear fiction with the focus on the comparative narrative analysis of storytelling nuclear energy, nuclear power in North American and the East European, East Central European uh, literary practices within their nuclear anthropocene rhetorics, which helps to highlight the uh, literary frames of a molten, uh, of a molten uh, nuclear energy within our energy dependence uh, dependent society. So the literary imaginaries of nuclear energy uh, in nuclear fiction within the post Chernobyl age is uh, just is uh, are in the focus of uh, of my. Uh, current uh, research project. Actually, as for the methodological frames of my research, some words about that, uh, just my research, in, uh, um, my, um, 
as for the methodological frames, uh, it, uh, they include the outcomes of such lit literary critical uh, fields as nuclear criticism, with the most debatable statement by Derrida that any just that any nuclear event is a phenomenon whose essential I can see, see here, whose essential features feature of being fabulously textual. We can only write and speak about we can only talk and write about the event. It is any nuclear event is non-event, which is this statement is still debatable within the uh, within the nuclear criticism, uh, as well as new nuclear criticism uh, um, researchers. As for the, also just uh, my you know, my research is under the influence of geocriticism, uh, geocritical uh, studies uh, regarding literature as a source of environmental knowledge. Um, but mainly as today, this is important that uh, my research is under the influence of intermediate eco criticism developed by Jurgen Brandt from Linear University uh, Center for Intermediate and Multi Study uh, sta Multimodal Studies, where he and his team developed the project on environmental uh, inter intermediate eco criticism. Uh, yes, they are uh, here together with his team stem from the uh, from the uh, Result stem from the um, from the words uh, by Ursula Hayes about the importance of amalgamating this. You can see in the screen the scientific study of nature, the scholarly analysis of cultural representations, and political struggle for more sustainable ways of uh, inhabiting the natural or the natural uh, world. Uh, mainly, uh, just emphasizing the steps of. Uh, Personalizing and emotionalizing uh, knowledge, uh, just intermediate, uh, just uh, intermediate eco criticism as an approach to communicating the energy sector sector agenda via different media products, different media types, help to distinguish the toolkit of transport transmitting uh, scientific material across the media border. To, to public and uh, for researching the literary perspectives of and on emotions the nuclear past, the nuclear present, intermediate eco criticism uh, appears to be very productive and even very necessary for, uh, in studying the links between science. Uh, science, uh, society, and the environment, especially when we deal with the literary and cultural dimensions of uh, nuclear energy, uh, just energy in general, and energetic uh, resources. Mm -hmm. this at this stage of my research, I am more just I am studying these novels written by North American writers and covering the Chernobyl disaster related events in a more or less way, especially it is related to the first one, a Phoenix Rising by Karen Hiss, where she uh, even uh, uh, she used the uh, factual information, the factual component related to the Chernobyl uh, events, but uh, but insert it in the uh, North American context, and she uh, and she explains that in all the uh, in her all the interviews. But actually, um, mm -hmm. but even uh, but uh, even. These writers cover the factual component of the nuclear uh, of the nuclear history, but in their comments or introduction interviews, uh, the writers highlight the fictionality of uh, of their writings. These novels belong to so uh, uh, I, have, I have mentioned that they do. Uh, they highlight the fictionality of uh, of the of um, of the. Uh, Works. All these no novels belong to belong to Chernobyl. Uh, just uh, can be regarded as uh, uh, Chernobyl fictional uh, fictional writings. With dominating, but in this aspect, it is uh, the most important for me. It is the motive victimization and monsterization, uh, just as in the dominating motives of narrating the nuclear uh, the nuclear uh, event. Yes. These novels, uh, just these novels, appeal to the um, 
uh, just to narrating nuclear energy, nuclear energy as invisible, invisible or radioactive or evil or invisible radioactive or monster, which in our which encourage the uh, the uh, relevant emotions uh, of the protagonist. But mm -hmm. but the range of emotions related to nuclear energy related here uh, just to the the nuclear disaster and the nuclear energy related issues varies from in this novel from the nuclear phobia to nuclear optimism and while shifting between the good or bad and balancing as a debatable um, just but uh, Living at the end of time, slow violence, horrific death, the age of vulnerability within the nuclear Anthropocene against climate change and natural and human-made ecological disasters can make us disappointed, scared, and doomed. The lack of hope and no way out can paralyze paralyze us in our activities uh, with further preventing from critical thinking and unbiased estimation of the situation. The personal uh, reference to nuclear uh, um, issues in the generational memory, uh, memory's response to nuclear uh, events, the readiness for the secrecy of nuclear knowledge, the various levels of trust uh, to the uh, government in the nuclear power policy, uh, altogether that can result in nuclear phobia, nuclear trauma, or even nuclear info trauma. Mm -hmm. but, what, uh, but what can trigger hope and show the way out by providing alternative narrative of storytelling and reconsidering the, uh, the nuclear uh, the nuclear in this concern it is your just i think that it is useful to just for me it was a huge um, huge um, discovery or uh, just of facing the uh, slow hope uh, concept introduced by christoph mouth the director of the rachel or uh, uh, carson university center for environmental study uh, for environment and society in munich his slow concept hope appeared as alternative to Nixon concept of slow violence uh, just which describes a gradual and uh, almost invisible nature of uh, much environmental uh, changes uh, he uh, just his um, his uh, slow hope concept highlights stories that often fail to make their headlines but represent a slow uh, but represent a slow but positive, uh, positive change. The search for hope doesn't diminish the scope of the problem to be faced. It is not the synonym or, of optimism. On the contrary, Christoph Mauck shows that it is possible to look at stories of hope as alternative to the stories of crisis. And these stories can help us to think creatively and, uh, and act uh, courageously in those times well, uh, when health, ecological, social, and economical emergence, emergencies uh, converge. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, for Christoph Mao, uh, uh, for Christoph Mao, it is clear as there what to do to counter the fears of disaster. We need to identify situation, uh, situations, visions, and actions that help us to imagine the uh, the different more. Uh, the, the different perspective on the ecological world. We need not only recognition of our of the alarming situation, but also uh, we need alternative narratives of uh, stories of survival. So he uh, slow hope comes out of the uh, context of critical thinking. It encourages setback. The, dial uh, the dialects of ecological crisis, environmental awareness, and necessary things. The concept of slow hopes or uh, uh, of slow hope suggests that we cannot expect things to change overnight. And Christoph Mauck represents three components of uh, of uh, of um, um, of representing the alternative alternative stories or alternative stories. The first one that. Uh, uh, starting point, just yes, you can see on uh, on them. That starting point in fear, 
that fear, uncertainty, and crisis can be a starting point for survival, then which leads this survival narrative can be a can be a trigger can be a trigger for hope and change narrative. And what is more important, he highlights the knowledge component in uh, in in our, um, in narrating the alternative uh, the alternative uh, in representing the alternative narratives. Mm -hmm. Yes, the uh, appeal to the just uh, when we uh, took into account the the, uh, the novels which we understand just the no these novels and the study narrating the uh, uh, the uh, nuclear disaster they appeal to the factual component uh, the spatial and temporal data spa uh, social and cultural realia and uh, their introduction into the literary space of uh, of uh, fictional uh, writings uh, helps us to depict nuclear localities and nuclear toxic legacies they tend to shape the they help to shape the spatial temporal settings or spatial temporal modality where spatial temporal properties of depicting nuclear events and phenomena of the nuclear uh, history helps us not only to uh, consider the inclusion of an encyclopedic data scientific facts in uh, fictional writing, as well as to regard them as archives of uh, the nuclear uh, epoch, but uh, help us to, uh, but, uh, help, uh, but accompany, uh, but, uh, but they are represented here, uh, accompanied with the emotionally colored uh, narrative, emotionally colored live writing. Uh, this combination of this amalgamation of the factual and the uh, uh, factual and fictional narratives results in free, uh, in framing the uh, the simulation of of shared experience with the help of nuclear uh, nuclear fictional writing. Even taking into uh, even taking a risk to face the situation of over emoting empirical facts or empirical facts such spatial temporal modality uh, enhance uh, of fictionalizing the nuclear history, the nuclear events, uh, enhance, enhances framing nuclear uh, nuclear literacy, nuclear competences uh, via communicating, uh, via, via emo, uh, emotionalizing nuclear knowledge in, our, in fictional writing. And even more, I'm speaking just one of the novel bombshell by uh, James Rafe represents in depicting the Ch Chernobyl events happens here happened in the Soviet Ukraine. Uh, he represents uh, he represents the spatial temporal component of narrating the uh, the nuclear history, the nuclear events of uh, of United States to their to his uh, readers. So. Uh, fictionalizing non-violence, uh, uh, fictionalizing non-violence, uh, non-violence in our, uh, in nuclear fiction uh, uh, demonstrates the just demonstrates the following or uh, demonstrates the following aspects. Uh, just first of all, crisis and uh, first of all, fear, uncertainty, and crisis can be regarded as a starting point. And really, we can see that such emotions and distress, or uh, uh, terror, trauma. Dis disappointed, nuclear phobia, even hatred to the uh, just to the um, just uh, even hatred related to the nuclear nuclear energy or nuclear power plant, together with curiosity and investigations, in uh, encourage the uh, encourage the uh, protagonist switch to uh, to find the alternative scenario and. To and uh, they can be regarded as a hope, uh, as a hope and change narrative. The following one: this novel shows that uh, they show the switch from survival narrative to hope, na to hope and change narrative uh, through the following or uh, through uh, through the statements uh, through uh, through. Uh, uh, through the, uh, the following statements that survival is possible, the exclusion borders are transparent, and these uh, just the, the protagonist can enter can enter the exclusion zone and and leave it, and these. Uh, 
uh-huh. and this uh, survival narrative demonstrates that the protagonist experience or just or can experience in the indigenous human or environment or paradigm and or, um, and in this case or in this case fictional uh, fictional uh, nuclear fictional writing can be regarded as a tool of simulation of exper- of simulation of experience and in uh, or just in uh, in my case it is the simulation of new uh, uh, simulation of experience and, and nuclear uh, nuclear trauma nuclear nuclear ex, just nuclear experience and the last one nuclear fiction can be regarded as the um, can be regarded as the um, uh, tool of trans of transiting knowledge years just and this is a way just in this perspective just nuclear fictional writing can be regarded as a data storytelling as a not only as a data storytelling not not only as a pool of archiving di- uh, data um, just they can be as i have just mentioned they can be a tool of nuclear literacy uh, just and can be regarded as a one of the tools of nuclear knowledge management the literary i guess it is at all i have just mentioned about nuclear uh, nuclear literacy, nuclear competence. Um, actually, the literary, uh, the literary parameters of profiling how uh, as alternative alternative scenario of uh, violence in their uh, nuclear nuclear energy storytelling, with the aim of reconsidering the post-apocalyptic and post-traumatic rhetoric of energy dependence, are studied here in the as- aspect of outlining the narrative uh, toolkit of situating uh, survival uh, uh, of situating our uh, um, survival as a starting point for hope uh, and uh, for hope and um, uh, and, ch- and change uh-huh. the literary energy uh, narrative perspective and intermedial eco-critical perspective perspective allow distinguishing the social cultural dimension of hope narrative of uh, represented with the uh, concept of whole slope uh, as a way of transforming scientific knowledge, transmitting scientific uh, knowledge on sustainable we, uh, women uh, living within energy uh, storytelling uh, which are researched with the uh, which are researched in the uh, which are studied in my research within the contemporary energy humanities from a framework and can be regarded as a response of the society to the current debates on energy crisis challenges in the perspective of critical thinking on energy on nuclear energetic history current nuclear uh, agenda and even future energetic scenarios i guess that's 